today we got to play Hamlet by the Lake. So this is the expansion from the original Hamlet. We got it in Kickstarter. Um, there is a previous review on that. So we're going to kind of focus on the differences between the base game and this new expansion. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because board games are amazing. And that's what we do here at Legends of Nirvana. Now, Randy, can you tell us a little bit more about Hamlet by the Lake? I can. So this was a 2024 Kickstarter arrival, just came in the other day. And since you like the first one, the base so well, we wanted to get it to the table quick. Now, there were, the first game, if you checked out our review, there were some issues with some of the components, particularly with around the church. This came with, in addition to the expansion, it came with a corrections pack that was supposed to basically enhance the previous set. And one of the things they did fix with it is the church. They've given a wooden block with that. Uh, and then, unfortunately, an art project of having to sticker it, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, the, the rating on this expansion is actually 8.2. Uh, there is no rank for it because I don't think they rank expansions. But the base game, the original, is currently at a, a rating of 6.8, which is kind of interesting. And the rank is 2448, so it's got a really good rank, but the rating is much lower than the expansion is. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. One to four player game. Uh, average length 60 to 90 minutes, which is probably about right. Uh, age 10 and up. This is designed by David Chirkop and Jonathan Harrington. Art is by Yusuf Artun and Max Kosick, and it's published by Mighty Boards Games. Now, the Kickstarter had the price for the just, if you were just buying this component and got the, the they gave you the, the corrections pack or the expand the uh, update pack they called it for free uh, it was 30 euro which translates to roughly 3263 right now miniature market has just the standard version of this up I'm assuming for reorder I don't think it's hit market yet for 3199 the cheapest though that I saw was card house and it's $27.99 for the retail version. And then Board Game Geek has various prices starting at $99, but that one is for the base game and this deluxe, and both deluxe. And, okay. And that one, if you bought it from during the Kickstarter, would have been 80 euro, that bundle, and it was 86.70. So 99 isn't horrible. I wouldn't pay any more than that if you were trying to get the whole set. All right, so let's talk about um, quality of components. Like you mentioned, they did upgrade the church, which mm -hmm. I believe was much needed. Yes. But then they went to cubes. Yeah, that was the biggest downer. As far as, I think the cubes are really intended for the storehouses, but still, why did you not? You already have the mold for the wooden shaped uh, objects with the screen printing. Why not have those cubes be Maybe it was a Kickstarter them. ad and they didn't make it that level. I don't level. know. It's just, it's kind of, you know, first of all, it's off-putting because it's, the, the colors aren't even the same. Like the, uh, the white and the, the wheat, wheat yeah. is kind of a yellowish white, whereas these are, you know, standard white cubes. So I don't understand why they did not make those be the same shapes and you just had more of them. I, I just, that, that's very disappointing. Yeah. Now you did get this, um, upgraded uh, uh, the, the up, stand. It wasn't in the original, so it's not Well, that's upgraded. what I meant. Yeah, it's a, a stand. You have to assemble it and take it apart. It won't fit it's in the box. It's cute, though. It's got I, some cute art think, in the back. You might be able to fit it in the, the base box, but, you know, it's you're going to have to finagle things around to get it in there. Now, you um, did say they replaced a couple of tiles as well. Well, they, they enhanced the tiles by basically making the victory points stand out more. So, like, these have big stars on them. Previously, they just had a little black star that said three star on it. They focused on the name and everything, the text. So, this is actually nicer, much clearer. Problem is, you had to spend a lot of time deciphering and replacing and making sure you had replacements for everything. So... I finally just gave up and just dumped all the new pieces in because it looked like it was 100% of what was there. So it's possible it's not. But I, everything has a linen finish on it, which is nice. The cards have linen finish too. Uh, they did give you another 
uh, the, the fishing app, this is from the Kickstarter, that's the new, the, really the new focus is fishing. And they have this added in where you have another bag and you have tokens for fish. And then there's wooden Now the fish, fish that they add were the shape of fish and screen. And they're bigger than any of those. This is the, what the size of everything should have been from the beginning. And the fish are the right size, but all the other components look tiny comparatively. So, yeah. I, well, maybe they listened on the fish. But yeah. then they give you cubes. <laughs> Apparently you're fishing for shark in the, uh, in the uh, <laughs> lakes. You, well, you want a big fish when you catch one. Yeah. So there's that. Um, so overall, with the add-ons, what are you thinking for the quality of component for the add-ons? Uh, so as far as the quality of the, the this, I'm probably going to go ahead and give it a, an 8 for what we've got. You know, the I probably would have gone higher if it wasn't for those cubes. It just really detracts from me. Absolutely. I agree with you 100%. So moving on to the theme. It's the same theme, sort of. Yeah. Um, but there is a little bit of difference in the fact that you're building lakes. And, okay, for the inner completionist, I like that the fact the lakes fill up the empty spaces. Yes. So there is a little bit of, huh, for me. So I actually greatly appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, so, yeah. What about you? Uh, well, I was being distracted because the squirrel is burrowing through your vegetable garden again. <laughs> <laughs> He it's a cute to little that. squirrel. We'll uh, have to get a picture and we'll post yeah, it maybe. Uh, I don't know, but he's he's just destroys our veggies. Yeah. So anyway, uh, as far as the theme, I, I like the the addition of the fish. I think it it adds to it supplements the the feel of a, a hamlet. So I, and like you said, it does fill in the holes, which I like. So I'm probably going to go ahead from a thematic standpoint and give this probably an eight as well. All right, uh, I agree. So moving on to the rule book, how was the expansion rule so book? So the rule book's only four pages long. Oh, well, that keeps I it mean, simple. Yeah, because but the thing is, is it, it left out some of the stuff we needed. Uh, so, like I said, it's all about the fishing. So this one is it talks about the components that are added, the setup changes that you have to make, the concepts of playing where you basically build lakes, put boats in them, and the fishing and what they do. And then it's got the, the new tiles, but it doesn't have anything about the cards, which the cards are actually where we had confusion on it. Because the uh, cards, uh, they have basically, you choose a season and you play the whole game in that season. So you've got some variance when you play, but it tells you what the fish mean when you get them and what you can do with them. So the, the, there's one that's always applicable for the common fish, but the uncommon and rare fish, which I've got way more of those than I did the common fish. So I don't know how uncommon or rare they really are. The, the the instructions for those are where there's confusion and it wasn't in the rule book. And there was no reference to them at all. So thankfully, our, my question was all up on the Board Game Geeks forums and someone had answered it. So yeah, I, I think the rule book could have added a couple more pages and put those cards. There's only four seasons times two cards, eight cards, it would have taken... Oh, yeah, to, that's a one page. Yeah. Like, in the back. Exactly. Like, There's the no card. reason not to have had that. Yeah. So, and also, I think the other thing would have been nice to have a cheat sheet that showed all of the things you can do now. Because you can, you can fish, cheat. you can... Yeah, yeah. You a can cheat do all sheet the different would have functions. been helpful. Yeah. Well, because for me, trying us both trying to remember, okay, well, how do we play this game? Yeah. You know, like, we kind of remembered, because I liked it enough to where I was like, oh, I kind of know. But then there was definitely some pieces I was like, oh, what is that again? How mm -hmm. is that again? So a cheat sheet would have been helpful. Yeah. Um, at this point, it's starting to get kind you know, especially if they add any more expansions, a, a cheat sheet is going to be necessary. Yeah. Um, now, moving on to gameplay. Um so what are the differences? So basically, like we mentioned earlier, whenever you have a completely encircled area without tiles, the lake will fill it in. Um, and you will get victory points for every two of the triangles. You will get one victory point. And all of the um, tiles that are is touching land will get a fish. So um, 
when that area is completed. Now the fishing, I never actually fished, so Randy explain the fishing. So basically if you go to one of the action locations adjacent to the water, so for example if I were to move here, there's four fish here, if I move to this location I can take every fish that's touching it. So uh, I can take these two fish here for example. Now if the, this water had been touching, which it's not because it's at a corner, but let's say there was another triangle of water here and there was a fish in it, I could actually take that fish as well. So it's every fish that's touching the tile when you take the fishing action. And they do not replenish typically. And they, there may be instructions on one of the other seasons that lets them replenish, but in this they don't. So you take them off and when you get however many fish you get, you get to draw tiles from the bag. and. You're going to draw either a green, a blue, or a pink tile. So I got a green. Oh, there's an. There I got two commons. I couldn't find a common for the life of me earlier. You so didn't mix them up well. The commons Brady. you basically can sell for two money each. You can store up to three at, till to the end of the game, but you have to get rid of any overage over three. So in this case, I would sell them and make four money off of those. Uh, the the in this case we were playing the fall season during the fall season the blue ones the uncommons you can sell for one money and you would also get to pay nothing to get one of the blueprint tiles when you take the blueprint action uh, and the pink ones in this case would let you build a building without having to have any of the resources to build it but you also don't get the victory points associated with building it of completing it. Yeah. Because you'll still get to put a flag, and if it has victory points at the end of the game, you'll still will get that. Yeah. So. So, you know, it, it may, you may be, you know, like the particularly around the, on the landmarks, the, the flag buildings, where there, you just typically don't get a victory point bonus. Some of them do, but for, well, some of them don't. It's not a bad thing to play those and get those down because you're saving all those resources you don't need to use then. Yeah. Um, also, I forgot to mention when you do complete a lake, one boat gets to get placed. Your flag mm -hmm. will be on that. That is your lake. Why it matters. I don't know. Oh, traveling. Yeah. So you can, your person can go through the lake. It's, it treats it like a road or a path or whatever. Mm -hmm. And a bridge, I should say, or a path. But if the difference, the only difference is one, it's exclusive to you. And two, you cannot just, you can only move people across it. If you want to move resources across it, you have to spend a wheat. Which is take... fair, I mean, that's fairly easy yeah. to get. So that's not as big of a deal. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. And I think it helps because you because this board can get pretty big and you run out of donkeys real quick. Mm -hmm. So this does help a little bit with that, I think. Um, overall, um... I think it definitely adds an element. Um, it is very advantageous to do lakes because yep. uh, you nearly beat me with. A, I had a, I placed this lake at the very very end. Just luckily, otherwise you would have won. Um, so lakes is definitely a thing to remember to do. Yeah, and also it adds another end game condition, which is that you would uh, in the land. Yeah, it, it normally it's you have to complete the church, but with the new expansion, you can also if you play your last flag. It triggers the end of the game. Right. Um, so overall, I I still enjoy this game. I like it. I think the lake gives it something a little bit different. And I do want to say, like, you completed the church. You did the, the lakes where me, during mine, I focused on resource gathering um, and having you use my resources to get victory points and selling to the market. So... There's definitely start. They're starting to build a little bit of different strategies, um, mm -hmm. but I still think it's pretty mainstream, and the fact that it's pretty easy to understand, and I still like that communal resource pool. There's a little bit of tension there, um, so overall, I still really really like it. Um, I am probably going to give this an eight. I like it a lot. As far as just the expansion, I, I can't remember what I rated Hamlet. I, I think, I, I know I didn't like it as well as you did. I know, I liked it a lot. So I think this enhances Hamlet greatly. Because one of the problems I had with Hamlet is it felt like it was kind of a one-trick pony. There wasn't a lot of ways to score. You got you either built the church or you, you, built, you did the market, basically. Having that, the, the lakes now and adding the fact that you can trigger the end of the game by just playing the flags, I think were necessary adds. 
And given that, I'm probably going to bump up the score probably to more like an, an eight on this. I think I was like seven on this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this is just more of a game that I like a lot. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We had an absolute blast, and hopefully you'll come hang out with us again. We'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.